Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. I have this beautiful sheet of Bristol board and a fountain pen that I just refilled with black ink. Let's draw a canyon. I can estimate the drawing to take approximately an hour and 40 minutes. This estimation is based on me having already drawn it and looking at the length of the footage I recorded. So while this drawing is going on, I want to talk about something that is, in my opinion, plaguing the internet or at least my corner of the internet, namely Instagram. Yes, I do have Instagram. A few accounts, in fact. My main one is at d 3 underscore sd where I upload everything. Digital art, ink drawings, works in progress, commissions, everything. I have another account, at d 3 underscore inc, where it's a more curated selection of my abstract ink doodles. In fact, this drawing you're seeing now will inevitably end up over there. Finally, I have the d 3 underscore face account, where I upload all the different avatars you can see in the corner of my videos. I also have a personal account, of course. And, would you know it, all four of these accounts are plagued by scams. Even my personal account regularly gets scamming attempts when there's barely anything there. The scams I experience on a daily basis take two different forms, and both of these are very, very, very annoying. The first one is relatively simple. Every time I post a drawing, I have like 4 random accounts asking me to contact them. The comments under the post all resemble something along the lines of promote it on add something, with an ad for an account with a lot of following. The account posting the comment, however, is an account that was most likely created a few days prior at most. What they hope for is that you will contact the main scam account, the add something, and what they will then tell you is to offer to post your post on their account for a meager sum of money, like 40 bucks. Or it might depend, sometimes they offer a story and sometimes a post. And sometimes the random account posting the comment will be bold enough to invade my DMs and directly offer me the same service. So basically, if I'm understanding that right, they want me to pay to provide them content to feed their account. And pay a lot of money for that. Just so you know, with 40 bucks, you can directly promote a publication through Instagram's own service and so for a whole week. Anyway, that's the first scamming attempt. It's a plague because every time you post something with a hashtag like arts or drawing or something similar, in the next 5 seconds you have 4 comments that are only here to annoy you or pollute your notifications. There is another version of this scam that is much more manageable. It also comes from a random account, like at random name underscore random numbers. They send a DM that basically reads as follows. Hello dear, I have browsed your feed and your content is really impressive. However, I have noticed that you are not getting a lot of following. My SEO plan is very cheap and it will make your content better, blah 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 blah, you get the gist of it. It's always SEO, search engine optimization stuff. If you have half a brain, you can see straight away that it's a copy and pasted message they send to basically everybody. At no point do they mention the sort of content you're actually producing, which is one of the many giveaways. Also, please don't call me dear at the beginning of the DM, I will instantly ban you. If you haven't understood, this video is me ranting, by the way. I will probably talk about the drawing at some point, but right now I have some things to get off my chest. Which brings me to the second scamming attempt. Now, this one is a bit more believable, at least at the start, which makes me think a lot of artists might fall for it, and it saddens me. Once again, it takes the form of a DM, and I think they mostly target artists doing commissions, since I didn't get this sort of scam before. Someone DMs you to tell you they are interested in buying your art. So far, it's kinda nice. You look at the account, and it's a believable account this time, meaning it has existed for over a year, and the followers and followees seem to be real people too. You can check that easily by looking at the number of posts and the time in between different posts, by the way. So, there's this person inquiring about buying your art. Since I'm very nice and I do want to do business, I ask what they want in particular, and that's when it really starts. They suddenly tell me they are very interested in buying a lot of my art as NFTs. Now, I don't sell NFTs, let's make that clear. I haven't talked about this whole side of the artistic content so far on this channel. Like, I don't like NFTs, and I don't want to make NFTs. Let's keep it at that for now. But even if, let's see how the scenario would play out with this coming attempt. I know, because in order to tell you about it, I played their game for a while. First off, some of them wanted to buy my whole collection of artworks, basically all I ever posted, and that's an evident no-no and a red flag. 
One dude only wanted one artwork and offered $500 for it. I told him I would only ask for $150 and he insisted that he was willing to pay $500. That's another red flag. Why pay more? Nobody would ever do that unless your scam was already set up for a specific amount. But anyway, let's keep playing. I then told him I only did transactions through PayPal. And then something fun happened. They insisted that they wanted to buy my art as NFT through a specific platform. They gave me a link to a website. Sure enough, it seemed to be an NFT marketplace. And from now, many more red flags. Let's go through them quickly. First off, my browser, Google Chrome, told me to be careful on this unverified site. Red flag. Secondly, I looked at the different artworks and a guy with a very similar name to the one who contacted me seemed to be the main provider of NFTs for the platform. Almost as if he had created everything and tried to artificially give substance to the platform. Red flag. Thirdly, and probably the best check to perform, I scrolled to the bottom of the page. You know, where you have all these links no one cares about like contact or webmaster or website plan or cookie settings. If, like in this case, clicking these links doesn't do anything, it's a big red flag. Additionally, if you have a doubt, try looking up the website on Google with the word scam and you will see forums or pages telling you it's indeed a scam. If I told you about these occurrences, it's because I get messages like that almost every day. It's a real pain in the ass, that's what it is. I don't know what to do about it. I am part of a few groups and Instagram discussions made of small artists like myself and we all get the same kind of scams with the same regularity. I thought I would just tell you about it in case you're in the same boat. Don't fall for them. I'm sorry, I don't have a solution against these scammers except to be careful. Oh yeah, one last story about scamming attempts. This one made me laugh. I had an account asking me for commission work. 300 euros to draw a picture of their dog. That's a lot more money than I would be comfortable asking for, first of all, and I don't really do animal drawings. The person told me they were a big fan of my style, which made me laugh since I change art styles every week. They insisted on the 300 euros and told me they were willing to pay before I even started drawing, which is something I don't really like. For my commissions, I ask for half of the flat price first, but only once both parties are in agreement of what the commission would be. In this case, they also insisted that I would send them my email address linked to my PayPal. They refused a QR code for the PayPal, but they wanted the address. So I made a temporary email address and sent it to them. Five minutes later, I got a mail from, who could guess it, PayPal. PayPal telling me to click a link to accept a payment of 300 euros. Only, the mail said PayPal. There were logos and stuff, but looking at the address, it was a bit strange. It wasn't like notifications at paypal.com, instead it was more like random name at other random name dot something. That is the laziest attempt at a scam I have ever seen. At least write a believable address that looks like PayPal. Of course I didn't click the link, I deleted the temporary email address. Since then I have got 6 other people sending me the same inquiry about commissions, all for the same dog, which is really funny to me, but really sad at the same time. I think that will be all I have to say on the subject. It's a real plague, but I don't see a solution except deal with it every day. If you too are an artist on social media, what is the weirdest scam attempt you have experienced? Tell me in the comments. I'm sorry I didn't talk at all about the drawing. It's like three abstract doodle videos in a row I do that. But at the same time, there is really nothing to say. Look at it. It is finished now, what can I say about it? It took a while to draw and a lot of patience. A lot of ink too. I really like this canyon looking rock formation. Check my curated ink doodle on Instagram and it will be there eventually. Subscribe for videos that sometimes are about drawings, I swear. I'm Detroit and I'll see you soon. Bye!